So what's up guys? Today uh, we will continue our clean architecture. First, our, I forgot our engine, our express, the substitute for our express uh, server. Just one file. Uh, this file is also from the uh, guy who discussed this clean architecture. So I just copy this. Just, uh, he has a repo, so I just copy this file from there. So in this object, the HTTP request object, it will uh, this is uh, this will be a middleware. So it has a rec address, a request and response. It will get the body, the query, the params. It will store in this property. Then it will set the headers. In the controllers, we will pass our use cases here. So when we we'll return the status code and the body. Then if error, it will just send status of 500 internal server error. So that's it for express callback. You don't you don't have to touch anything here. Just leave it at is as it is. So let's go in our use case. So in our use case, we only have one uh, entity, so employees only. Make it here employees. So if you have like many entities, so every entities entities must have separate folders. So let's say another entity for say users like that. So separate it. That's the concept of clean architecture. So in this file we will make a, a in this project we will make a crude crude for our employees. So insert, select, update and delete. So let's make our main file here, app.js. And right, I just I will just copy this folder. So it's just the same in the uh, in the previous videos. So example in these in the and when inserting employee oh, never mind I will discuss it. So in our in in our insert uh, when inserting an employee so we first we will make a variable that will return this function with a uh, sync function. The info here is what we will get from our controller. This is the JSON data that the client will send to the server. It will hold this. First, the parameters is the make employees from our entities and the employees DBs from our data access, which is here. Place DB and entities. Here, make employees. I'll, let's try to. Uh, we cannot run it for now because we don't have our controllers and routes yet. So I'll just explain it and try it later. So in this line, it will run the entity. So it will check for our business logic. So if the submitted data didn't have a first name, so it will throw this error, and so on. Then it is a uh, it is declared by let, so we can reuse the variable. So when when all data is supplied, so you can access the data by this uh, 
function so example so we declared it in the data variable so if you want to get the first name so you just data dot the function so get fn and so on so last name and age so we store in this variable so in for efficient inserting in sqlize so when you make your object just copy what you have here in the model model here or what what you in during your migration what you name your field so you don't have to alter it when inserting using sqlize which is here in our query insert so you just have to pass the object here when you insert data so this is our object to be inserted so first we will do a checking if the employee already exists so if row count is greater than zero meaning if it is existing it will return this error so if if it, if it is equal to zero meaning it, it is not existing so we will insert then just return an image so so the default value is error but if it is successful it will uh, reassign this successful message then return the message so this variable will be export by this line module exports then we will require it here insert here so we will bring in this in this uh, in the above part of this file we'll just bring up our the the functions and and the prerequisites of our use case so for we'll bring up our entities our employees db here and our function encrypt and decrypt we need to decrypt our data when selecting because it is encrypted it will be encrypted when inserted in the database so insert and then just add s my naming convention add s then uh, put the parameters which is here make employees and employees db and then freeze the variable then export it so that's for our use cases uh, it's just the same with the uh, select and insert so let's just check it so in the select we will need the decrypt then in our info if there is a params say select slash the id of the employee we need so if it is existing we will run the query select one but if it is not if it is undefined so we will run the query select all for example in the select all if it is if there are data uh, selected then we will for loop in that data then push it in an array this is just a ternary ternary statement so if it is existing it decrypt then if not existing just return null same with age return zero if null but we have in our entities so it will not yeah it it will never be null we are checking this it is required so just for safety then update that and update that just push in this array then return the array it's just the same with the select one so for the query for the selecting part it is uh, row query using postgre so select all so 
our connection it turns a pool we will use this pool so we will await we will await connects which is passed here then await new promise so what you want to return is you will pass in this resolve for example so select asterisk from employees so we will make the query sql then error if there is an error so resolve error return the error so we will end the pull connection so the database will be free of this connection so the response will be returned if there is no error then you then this uh, what is resolved here will be stored in this variable and return that variable so that's in select in the update it's just the same we did uh, the insert but we just add another checking here if the id is existing so i in the data access we required id here select select one so here id so in our update we pass the id with the value of data that id so that's it so if it equals to zero so employees doesn't exist please check it will return this uh, error it will throw an error so if name exists check name if it is existing so in our query check name if exist during update so this this function so the this is we will deconstruct these variables from this object the data object and then we will run this query select id for employees where first name is the first parameter here and id is not equal uh, number three which is our third parameter here then last name second parameter and id is not equal to three but in when inserting the queries we didn't require the id so here's the query so that's for the update then just return if it is successful or not so when you will debug this just try to console log what is inside here so when update it will return an an array with a value of one or zero so if no if no rows are affected so it will return zero so if it is if there is a row uh, uh, affected it will return one so it will just return a message same with the delete so just a simple delete query here so it's not deleted and it just return a message so the query that i used here is using sqlize so delete the destroy function of the model so this toy where id equals what is passed here so that's our for our new use cases so in the next part we will discuss our controllers thank you